All right, guys, if you want to get rich in Reddit Online, do this right now. As you can see, just from once, you'll get around $370, around one gold bar, and almost 3,000 XP. So let me show you how it's done. So I'm talking about the legendary bounties, of course, and this one is, is the easier one than my last video. The Philip Carlier can be uh, it's quite complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So you want to go to any bounty board, and then you want to press triangle if you're on PS4 and PS5 and press whatever button is on Xbox and PC and then you want to go to legendary bounties and then you want to select this particular bounty right here Yukon Nick if you're an experienced player this is quite easy even on five stars if you're new don't worry you just have to be a little careful and you can if it fits on like two or three stars you can easily practice it before you get to five stars all right so as soon as you can start playing on the mission you'll want to check your real life time so that you can know when you can uh, turn in the bounty so it has to be at least 20 minutes before you can turn in a bounty so that you can get the max rewards i mean if you're not spending 20 minutes you can still get lots of money but to get the max rewards, spend around 20 to 25 minutes. And make sure not to die because if you die, it can probably restart your timer. So do not die, whatever you do. And make sure to watch the full video so I can show you important tips and tricks so that you don't mess it up, so that you don't let Yukon Nick kill the uh, innocent guy and how you, can, how you can like keep both of them alive, the legendary bounty and the guy that he uh, tries to shoot so when you arrive at this camp right here try to release the bear there's like uh, two trapped bears if you have a sniper you can aim at the lock and then release the bears and the bears will actually take out some of the enemies I actually don't have my I have a sniper but I just wanted to try it a different way I just wanted to use stealth so you can even use stealth and shoot at the locks. I don't know if you can just approach the lock and if it will give you an option to unlock it without making any noise. I should have done that. If you can, let me know in the comments. So first phase, like the enemies are pretty underpowered. You shouldn't have problems. Just maintain a distance. And if you want to be careful, just hide behind a cover and then like just cover shoot all the enemies. The best weapons for this mission would be the Lancaster repeater and the bolt action rifle. Make sure not to have two like same weapon categories on your shoulder and on your back because the ammo you'll be requiring lots of ammo. So on one of my weapon slots I have the bolt action rifle and on the other I have the Lancaster repeater. And make sure your guns are cleaned so that you can get max range and max damage. And for close quarters, this, like, right here, as you can see, I was about to die. I was being careless. Don't worry, it shouldn't happen to you. I was, I actually forgot that I was playing it on five stars. And keep an eye out on the XP, guys. Like, just from the mission alone, you'll get around 2,600 XP. But from killing all the enemies, you should get additional, like, 1,000 XP. So in total, you will get around 3,000 500 xp or something which is absolutely crazy because this month there is a um, like double payout on everything xp gold and money all right so after you take out all the enemies the legendary icon the legendary bounty icon will appear on your minimap and there will be a cutscene so this is where you might mess it up if you don't know what you are doing so make sure to do exactly what i'm about to do so after this cutscene ends, you'll enter Deadeye, slow motion, and you'll basically want to shoot the target's right wrist, right hand. So just shoot just like how I'm doing, slowly, one shot at a time. And as you can see, the guy has escaped without any harm. He fell down, don't worry, he just like stumbled. And the legendary bounty has fallen down as well, but he's alive, he just like is injured. So this is how you can basically perfect this legendary bounty mission. 
So this is like after after you capture him, that's when the hardest phase of this legendary bounty starts. Not hard. I mean hardest as in, I mean if you're like a noob or something, it you can die, but you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever if you're experienced. You'll still have auto aim, so that shouldn't be a problem. But the only challenging part is the enemies like you won't. Like there won't be red dots on your minimap for the enemy, so you just have to um, use your ears and look where the bullets are coming from. Make sure to keep uh, running at all times so that no one sneaks up, sneaks up on you and gets a cheap hit. And just head towards the trees. Like you can easily like most of the guys will spawn near the camp, so. Make sure to head towards the trees and then you can easily take them all out. If you have a sniper, that will be helpful. But I didn't, I was like chugging tonics because I just wanted to get it over with. But you don't have to chug tonics, waste your tonics, just be careful. I was just trying to basically record it for like showing you how much money and XP you can get. So after you kill all the enemies, make sure to loot all the bodies. As you can see right here, I got a Caribbean rum and just from that I got additional 100 XP. So you should get at least uh, two collectibles and on rare occasions you even find treasure maps from these dead bodies. And this, this guy won't escape, don't worry, because his right hand is, his right hand is pretty much gone and he has one arm now because we shot uh, it's the right arm, so another great attention to detail from Rockstar, just like always. So now you can basically check your time again, your real life time, and see how much time has passed. So you'll basically want to sp uh, spend till 20 minutes, do whatever you want, collect collectibles, do some, do anything, just go AFK if you want, and just from this just from the objectives alone it should take you like 10 to 12 minutes so you will only have to wait about 8 minutes and you'll have to ride towards the strawberry sheriff's office anyway so that should take another 2 minutes alright so after enough time has passed you'll want to turn in the bounty and that's when you can get lots of money this especially like this is the best method right now if you're looking for quick cash if you want like quick gold then you can basically watch my uh, prestigious bounty method that's basically for gold but the money isn't great but this one is really good for money and someone told me you can get actually six hundred dollars from Yukon Nick mission let me know if that's true in the comments but till the next video take care bye bye and peace out